Today, I'm going to show a little bit more about our push to eBay tool, which you have access to whenever you purchase an integration from your dropship supplier to the sales marketplace eBay. Whenever I click continue here and purchase this integration, you now have access to our push to eBay tool, which you can access here on the left side. Now, whenever I jump into this push it to eBay tool, it's a very seamless tool where we can uh, mirror, you know, how to add products onto eBay, uh, doing it in batches, connecting to eBay USA, UK, Canada, Australia, and even other countries if you wish to add this on. So as you can see here, I have already created a handful of batches that I'm ready to push over to eBay to sell the products. Um, whenever you want to set up your default batch settings, so these settings are being applied to every batch that you create, jump in here on default batch settings um, there's things that you can configure you know how to handle quantity changes uh, your default categories your listing template if you want to customize your listings uh, you can come in here you can do a default theme you can also apply fixed price settings to all of your batches that are created um, online auction settings to all your batches created as well what payments you can accept, PayPal, merchant credit cards, money brokers. You can also come in and configure shipping pricing, uh, your US shipping, if you do international shipping, handling time, zip code, sales tax, return policy, and everything along those lines, which pretty much mirrors exactly whenever you sell products on eBay. So this is our default batch setting. This is being applied to all of our batches. Whenever you wanna create a new batch, you can come in here, create a new batch, kind of mirrors exactly that default batch settings. You come in create your batch name uh, go through all of the specific settings and then you'll be able to add products to that batch so I'm going to jump into batches that we already created um, so specifically some um, fishing batches so I'm going to jump into the crankbaits as you can see here we have 60 products being added into this batch if I'd like to add products into the batch you can search and add products to the batch here go in and it looks like I have access to the 44,000 products that I have from my suppliers Specifically, we're going to go with uh, this specific supplier. Um, looks like there's a bunch of, uh, looks about 6,000 products. If I want to do advanced search settings, I click on this button here. Um, specifically for the supplier, uh, must have an image, you know, price lessens a certain amount. Um, you can do a price greater than a certain amount. Select a category. We're on crankbaits, so I'm going to select that. I want to apply specifically for crankbaits. Um, looks like we have a handful of, of our of these products applied to this and added into this batch. Let's see, we'll scroll through. Ah, it looks like we have some specifically here on this page. All these look good. I like the pricing. I like these products. I can individually go and individually select um, the, uh, the specific product and add it here, any specific details. I can also select everything on the page as well. So about, it uh, looks like we are selected about 30. Um, I wanna select these 30 products and add them specifically to the batch. So here are the 30 products. Fixed price setting, online auction, my uh, store fixed price. We're actually just gonna do the fixed price with the settings applied. I'm gonna add that to the batch. So now it's added to the batch. What I can do is I can go back to this batch and see that, oh, looks like I went from 60 to 90, um, 90 products within this batch. So if I want to come in, I want to edit any details specifically, let's say for this product, I can go in, edit product details. I can change up the title, the subtitle, um, any listing enhancements I want to add. Maybe I want to go change up the price specifically for this um, specific product. Come in, I can uh, change up the quantity if needed product description I can add some stuff into there I can change up the images if I'd like um, let's see there's other things that we can add in maybe change up the category that it's going underneath you do apply a different theme maybe do shipping specific for this product um, you can do that all through here and then save the changes um, so you can do it at a product level you can do it at a batch level in in regards to the settings you can also do it at for all of your batches as well so let's say you know I want to select this I want to select these two products I'm actually ready to push these over to eBay I can then push it over to eBay here if there are uh, already listings for these uh, specifically within this tool I can select them and, and end the listings 
I can pull information from my eBay store if I have settings applied on the eBay store that I want to pull back into here. I can also validate and view the fees as well. And if you have any questions about these big four um, buttons up here, you can click this uh, question mark and it'll show you a little bit more detail about these buttons and what they do. Um, so that's just a broad overview of what we provide within our push to eBay tool. Like I said, you have access to this whenever you purchase um, an integration from your dropship supplier onto eBay.